Hello everyone and welcome to another episode. In this specific episode, I'm going to be touching on Todoist and why the intelligent input feature inside the app is one of the best ones I've ever used. So if you don't know what Todoist is, if anyone's just coming in and like, what's Todoist? It's basically a task management app that allows you to record any of your open loops or tasks that are uncompleted. It's really great. Check it out, www.todoist.com. But going back, if you're a user of Todoist, you probably recently got the 10 update. And that's really awesome because the 10 update really did change a lot of what's inside the app. So intelligent input is easily accessible through the plus button. Once you've got the plus button, you can add any sort of information here. It could even be like read a book. Um, read a book. Um, once you've got this information there, you know, it could be pick up the dog, anything like that. You can then add a little bit of context. So maybe tomorrow at oh, 3 p.m. And what's awesome about that is it instantly highlights it and you're like, why is it highlighting it? And then you simply press return, which is quick add, and it will take that bit of information and add it into your task timeline, which is great. So you don't have to like stress out when you're kind of uh, quickly in the queue like, oh, I need to read that book. It's simply added there, which is fantastic. So I'm just going to swipe this one away because I don't want to read the book tomorrow. Um, <laughs> so the next thing you can do also with it is, so, so let's say, for example, I'm in that queue and I just want to add something, uh, but I want to add labels. I want to add uh, maybe even some priority to it. So if I go, um, you know, uh, pick up the cat from the vet. And now I say Tom, which is tomorrow at uh, 2 p.m., and then, if I press the app mention, I can start adding, okay, that's a task that is inactive, because I don't need much energy to complete it. It'll take me 20 minutes to complete the entire task. And then I'm just going to add, maybe I need my Chromebook to complete it. And then you can add P, whatever level it is. So P1 is the highest level. And if I click enter, it puts it as a, so it instantly takes in all those labels, all that information about the time and date, also adding the priority levels you can see in red, which is really, really awesome. So I'm just going to swipe that one across too. So this is actually really cool. The only problem I'm having with it and a lot of other people having is you can't add the actual project that you're in. So if I wanted to say, um, you know, anything across my day, like quickly, like, oh, pick up um, this document from somewhere and it was relevant to my company um, or the company I work for, then I'm in a bit of a struggle because it does it instantly adds it to what's called the inbox into this. So up here, so you'll get all your tasks in through there. So one of the problems is obviously it gets added to the inbox um, instead of the specific project. So you can't actually add it to a specific project, which is a shame. But um, it's something that they will change in future updates, I'm sure. This is a really, really awesome feature, and I can tell you why in a little more detail. Because although it adds information like one-off dates and one-off times, you can actually go a lot deeper. So if I had a haircut um, that I wanted to book in every month from today, so I could go haircut every, uh, and then I can add any you know, 11 days at to 1 p.m., and then add all the proactive and and even the priority level, you know, priority two. And that's incredible because I can quickly do that on the go and I'm not restricted to having to sit at a computer and add that sort of context. So let me just delete that because I've already got one of them. Um, so you can go uh, a little deeper and I'll show you how to do that. So if I was to add a task, um, let's say test one tomorrow at three, it's very clever as well. If I press this button here, so this button here, I can then ooh, get that added context. So it obviously allows me to add anything project-wise, uh, date-wise, reminder-wise, actually being able to remind it on location as well if you're on premium, and being able to assign it and priority labels and parent projects. So you can actually add that context there. So I hope this one was useful, guys. This is probably my favorite feature of the year. I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm gonna say it now. It's between this and Sunrise Meet. So looking forward to seeing whether you guys use it. Let me know how you get on on Twitter at Francesco D underscore A L E S. And if you found this useful, 
then just share it because uh, I'm growing my channel and I'm um, looking to improve the videos. So thank you very much everyone. Make sure you have a great week and keep productive. Cheers.